Hi everyone, I'm here with Joy Dunlop, TV and radio presenter for BBC Scotland and the host of the New York City Tartan Week mod. Hi Joy! Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. Can you tell us a wee bit about the New York City Tartan Week mod? Yep, so a mod is a competitive festival. It's actually a Gallic word, which means a gathering of people. And um, it's very popular in Hope Scotland, but this is the first time Tartan Week has run a mod itself. And it's been wonderful. It's been just a real celebration of Gaelic language, Gaelic culture, and everyone was wonderful. They came, they sang, and we enjoyed the performances so, so much. I'm really proud of it It really has been wonderful. And you yourself are a Gaelic performer and, of course, speaker. It's wonderful to hear you flip so easily between, between the two languages. Which language did you learn first? Well, actually, my parents have got no Gaelic. So, yeah, I didn't speak that. any Gaelic when I was younger. Um, when I went to secondary school, and we went to Open High, yeah. and uh, you could do Gaelic as a second language thing. But I'd actually started singing in Gaelic before that. So I learned phonetically, just picking up the sounds, doing it that way. And yeah, I did, but I did an immersion degree. So I went to Solomon Austin Gaelic College and I was there. Oh, yeah. Everything you know, that I do now, um, I really feel that Gaelic has become an integral part for most of my working and social life. So, but yeah, I'm, I had no Gaelic when I was wee, and I think it's always reassuring to hear that. Absolutely. Because learning a new language is hard. Absolutely. Yeah, my dad's tried to <laughs> Gaelic. And I think because Gaelic and English are very different languages, Absolutely. the hardest bit is the first part where you have to learn the new spelling, you've got to learn the new sounds. But once you get that, it's much easier to learn the language. Absolutely, and what hope that gives everyone that is hoping to learn Gaelic. So I love to hear that from you. And I heard there was a wee story behind this beautiful jacket. Would you mind sharing it with us? Absolutely. Um, so I, as you can tell, we are both tall. Um, <laughs> and I am the small person in my family. Yo. Yeah, I have three younger brothers that are noticeably taller than me. And this was my Shana, my grandfather's kilt. And as in a family, you know, things get passed down. But as the boys got too tall, the kilt was getting smaller and smaller. And many kilts are made, not normally, what you would choose. Like. So my gran actually asked me if I would like the tartan. That's wonderful. So yeah, she pulled the whole thing apart and I was given the material. And then I made a jacket and I actually got a bag as well. It is wonderful. And what um, plan is this? Well, it's, so we're done lords, yes. but um, he was a Donnelly, which um, is it's not necessarily a score. Name. So we went for like a more of, a, of an area tartan and I think it's really enjoyed the colours. I love it. It suits um, you so much. It's absolutely wonderful. And it feels like you've got that link to what will link to your family and everything. But I'm a bit upset because now I can't buy one. <laughs> Any more mini skirts that you have free and available? Absolutely. Come to my handbag. I'll sort it out. So nice to meet you, Joy. Thank you.